guys welcome yet to another vlog i'm gonna try do these more often because honestly i am enjoying them it's just the nerves that i think like in the beginning and prior to shooting anything that i feel uh will largely like affect uh everything and me maybe being too nervous chuckling or like giggling because i do giggle i giggle when i'm nervous and that scares me, yeah, but please do sit in as I uh, show you a couple of things that I have thrifted. I'm so excited for upcoming projects. I'm so excited for stuff, stuff that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, there's a project in the works for the bathroom, uh, a mini bathroom makeover, so to speak, which is gonna be mostly thrifted items. And I'm probably gonna try forage as much as I can, like with plants and, um, I'll see. I want to do an art piece in the bathroom. I just don't know how that's going to translate. Like, I wanted to thrift something. I'm going to try to put it here to show you what I saw at the price I saw it at. This has become like one of my favorite spots. And I'm trying to like do weeklies there where I just check what, have, uh, what they have new in store and what I would like from their items and what I will buy for future projects or you know whatever it is that I feel like an inkling towards so yeah just do stay tuned and um, yeah let me just unbox a couple of things that I did buy so actually be pulling from a few bags it's not that many and as you guys did see uh, for those of you who follow me on my Instagram, I did show like uh, the one visit's total cost. So the one time that I did actually go there and I took some pictures and uh, I did post them up on my Instagram stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, please, please do follow me on Instagram as I do drop gems on there quite more often than not. And that's where I will most likely be posting stuff on the daily than on my YouTube channel, which gets... And I've been trying guys, it gets like a weekly video, if not bi-weekly. So this is the first item that I did uh, thrift. It's a baby pink vase. It actually almost matches my nails. It's so cute. But I do not intend to have it in this color. I am actually thinking that I'm going to upcycle this. I bought this for, let me just see if I can get this right. I bought it for 18 Rand and this price I think was further discounted when we got to the toll because the total cost for uh, the vase and a couple of other stuff was 183 and it was quite a lot of items that I did get. So this vase I want to do in, um, I don't know if I want to do it with that stone finish next to my marble vase um it's not a vase actually it's like an ornament it's a deco piece so they're almost of similar size let me just quickly go get it so this is that marble piece or marble look piece that i bought from sheet street so as you can see they're not so so different in size i think i want to make this like more black though to kind of like bring contrast to this look and this piece and i am still unsure whether the black will work out or like a charcoal uh aged type of style for this uh for this vase that i'm gonna have here and you know just a few little twigs here and there that i'll be probably trying to put in i don't have like anything that can fit in there to put in water in but as this doesn't have a hole at the bottom then i can probably just add water and my plant for that moment or if it's just going to be able to withstand then i'm going to be putting in like eucalyptus leaves that don't really require a whole lot of water once they dehydrate it so I was thinking something more like along those lines. So that's my first item. My second item came as a set. Just carefully lift these up. 
I've actually got a lot of newspapers that I'll <laughs> paint on top of, which is like always awesome. Um, so these, this was a ceramic set that I also bought from the same place. I'm also going to be upcycling this. Uh, for me, when I am thrifting, the goal is to see how I would use it in my space. So this is, as part of the set, uh, on its own quite lovely actually if you are into this type of style into this type of like make and it's called Bellwear from Gillies and Meriton uh, it's a South African brand but I did actually thrift this uh, for wait for it yes this was the reason why I actually got this set I did not want to leave this on its own at the store but it comes as this set and i was actually thinking of either in the bathroom or somewhere on my kitchen counter which is piling up with so much goodies um i'm actually going to try to give this the the modern and i'd say on trend aged uh ceramic look i don't know what color to go for but i do like the cream i've got this chalk paint that's a uh, cream that I did my sideboard over with. It actually looks like this color right here. So I was thinking of making this over with that chalk paint and just having like a mini shot glass in here. So whenever I do put in stems or flowers, I would love this for lavender stems. That would like look so gorgeous with that shot of purple. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm already feeling this as a vibe. This is like totally calling me right now so yeah that's my second thrift oh i actually forgot to show you guys the set price i got this for 38 rand yeah you can see that right there i got it for 38 rand for the set um next item that i have on here let me just clear out is this photo frame which i also want to use either in the bathroom for a mini plaster art piece in this um, closure just right here i want to do a plaster piece for this photo frame uh clean it up real good because as you can see it's collected dust and fingerprints so the first step for all my diys actually is from here from the bag I will be spraying them down with some disinfectant and trying to clean and polish where I can before I actually even upcycle them. So I got this for uh, 20 Rand. So I went to two different uh, charity shops. This charity shop actually has a forever half price sale. So the price you see it for, you'll actually pay half for. This is the one that's on uh, Bayes Nodia, just as you drive up towards Cresta. It's right after the, is it a hospital or an eye clinic or something? I, I'll just try to make sure I'll put it in the description box and then just to let you guys know where you can actually find this. I have visited this charity shop before. I always also drive past there after work when I've got like a few extra rands that I can thrift with. I don't always thrift guys. Um, for me, shopping of any kind means that I'll be spending money and if that money is intended to go to something else, then I'd rather it go to that first. So yeah, I only go when I've got like spare or extra disposable funds that I can be shopping with. Uh, so yes, I said this was 20 Rand. this teeny tiny cute little piece it's a little jug that i also actually want to use as is i'm not gonna be upcycling this i love love this emerald color it's actually so cute uh also going to be treating it as the rest this was 12 rand i'm also going to be cleaning this up so i'll probably put this maybe next to the um jug that i intend to have uh, be cream white and yeah we'll see how it goes actually as i do the shelf in the bathroom probably a little bit of pop and a little bit of greenery will also go a long way so i will see how that goes in terms of that so far and i also got this wooden bowl 
I am still unsure. I just took it and it's part of those buys that you take because inexpensive, nice type of uh, piece. I've got coffee books, uh, coffee table books that maybe this could go on top of with a little bit of uh, sea moss or moss if I can find some or some greenery that I want to put on there. Maybe just change up my decor every now and again. Uh, there's actually a piece that I'm looking at now that I was upcycling earlier because I had some time and initially it started out as me testing if it would take paint because it's a candle. It's an awesome looking candle which I took for the whole idea that it looks like a bust of an actual horse head. So that's why I took it. Uh, back to this piece guys, this wooden bowl was 10 Rand and uh yeah it's just gonna be like a trinket tray or something so either for the bathroom or coffee table styling or my side tables one of many side tables that i've got and then because me and loving things i actually bought candles in december from H&M and I've not styled them. They're still actually in their um, Packaging, let me just go get them from the sideboard So I bought these tapered candles from H&M which I actually got this vase for yes perfect fit so yeah this vase i'm actually probably gonna try uh spray paint black after i clean off all this dust and debris on it the vase itself was 32 rand okay yeah there we go and yeah unfortunately you probably have to like clean a lot of the stuff that you thrift uh which i do recommend because other people have used this and touched this so it's always best to just clean up before you use and put it into your home and the tapered candles from h m were uh ooh, sorry 29.90 just under 30 rands so, which also will probably be along any of my surfaces. I'm still unsure of placement and where I'm going to be putting things, but most likely on either sideboard, the bar area, side tables, or not near the TV, no, not near the TV, but I've got a coffee station there, which I was also feeling like need a little bit more lighting. So yes, this is going to be spray painted black. It's got this sort of green, black uh, look to it which is also quite cute I'm not sure how I feel about it after cleaning it up but it's still quite cute as it is but yeah my whole intention of getting it is I wanted black candelabra so yeah that's why I got it uh -huh, uh -huh. this was also quite another exciting piece I love this because it's got a handle and a little cute little spout over there. So it's one of those jugs and jars that she can get. They are uh, ceramic. So this was actually made in Italy and it's dishwasher safe. It's uh, from a, a brand called Benigiamo. Uh, don't know the brand, never heard of it, but I thrifted this for 28 grand. So awesome. I was, uh, I'm still unsure, but I think I want like a nude taupe, maybe gray look for this one. Also gonna be a styling item that I'm gonna be interchanging all over the house from coffee table, bathroom shelf, to sideboards, the works. That's just my intention with these pieces that I've thrifted is they are gonna be going all over the house at different seasons for you know different things and styling uh, for my needs. Let me just pick this up. We are almost done with the thrift haul. Yep. 
yes yes another potted like little ceramic vase i'd actually call this it's got this nice shape to it where it kind of like bubbles out in the middle right there uh all these were beautifully hand painted but unfortunately because i want to get something else on them i know a lot of people actually like to buy thrifts for using them as is but yeah i want to put something else on them so i am planning on actually painting this as well Ugh, it's got a piece of rope on it okay and this is why my boyfriend says this stuff is probably haunted <laughs> uh but yeah Oof. i'm just gonna have to get that off when i do clean this up so this is it says mel de portugal so i'm assuming it was made in portugal it was also another 28 rand piece that i thrifted i am super excited about these pieces cleaning them up and getting them made up and done i think this would look beautiful in like a chocolate brown like this type of color here on the slat. I want this to be that color. And I'm also probably gonna be using this as is on top of books as a decorative piece or actually to place uh, some stems or some flowers in. I just went for these guys. I saw them all in like one corner and I pretty much picked up the tray that they were sitting on. And yeah, this was another country piece of ceramic vase. It uh, doesn't say where it's from. Also beautifully hand painted. Priced at 15 Rand. This was rather cheap. So I got this and I'm also probably going to be painting it in earthy nude you know tones and that's the kind of vibe that i go for black would also look amazing on this i don't know if i should like put on some uh, self-made handles on this one as as you can see part of the haul i'm going to be showing you items that i'm going to be using as part of the flipping of these thrift buys so yeah do stay tuned for that So my number one item for texture on uh, these thrifts and a couple of other items in the house that I actually want to make over is poly filler that I bought. I think I was I was at game stores. Yeah, I was at game stores. I got this poly filler for 35 rand for this big bag, and it's such a bargain because usually the one kilogram or I think it's a 900 gram bag is usually like the 36 rand bag. So I uh, I cop this and yeah, I'm gonna be using this quite a lot on a lot of items that I'm planning to make over. And my second last item is this dust air drying clay, which is gonna be mostly used for as you, as you saw, I've got a couple of pots that I want to get handles on. I was also actually thinking of an abstract piece that I could probably try sculpt from this. I'm going to be using it on a lot of items. Um, another thing that I wanted to give a sort of different look and feel was this edging here. It actually shows you that like these are two separate pieces so i wanted to make it look more uniform so i'm not sure between the air dry clay or the plaster which i'm going to be using to get that uniform look and feel to this uh diy piece so yeah i'm going to be attempting a few stuff with this um i've got a <laughs> i've got a stop it I've got an idea that I was inspired when I was at Woolworths uh, at their home section. They've got this abstract piece of like, um, it's actually like a, a sculpture on like a plinth on a little stand that is gold and I'll put it here, I'll put the picture here just to show you what, what I'm talking about. And when I picked it up and I saw the price and I was like, eh, no, 
I'm gonna make my own. So this is one of the reasons why I bought myself this DAS uh, air drying clay. A couple of other reasons, I've been posting some air dried clay or clay uh, inspo on my Instagram, on my stories, was these little handcrafted bowls and catch-all trays that people are making with clay so i want to give it a go i want to give myself a try at that please do stay tuned guys for that video it's also going to be coming up as soon as it is done uh, so a couple of things that i'll be doing with this will probably also be painted in the same color scheme and will be able to be decorated with along all over the house especially the tv stand it's got like um four shelves which are standing empty right now a part of me is like uh i could use more coffee table books i could use a little bit of more sculptural looks and items uh whatever decor pieces i can actually get but i don't want it to feel crowded i saw this little sculptured piece at pep home today but i however didn't take it i don't know why i just left because I went in there looking for these bubble like glass vases and it wasn't available at that particular branch so a part of me just gave up and just walked out and yeah it's just all part of a look that I'm going for for my place before I do some more larger pieces or wall styling I actually wanted to fill in and then I know when I do when I do up my walls or get like big mirrors or set up a, a specific station because I've got like this negative space now in the lounge area that as you come in so it's sort of like an entryway makeover that's going to be probably planned for in the next couple of months I am looking to do a couple of stuff up but mostly I want to feel comfortable in the space right now and these little crannies and nooks that are empty I want to try get them uh, have their own moments and have their own pieces for for themselves so yeah just to make over everything I got this and the plaster and let me just get the final piece for this thrift haul which I've already I've already flipped it so I'm still not sure about the base but I've, um, I've flipped it to more likely what I want it to look like and it's giving me it's giving me life right now where it is. I'm also going to insert what it currently looks like as, um, as a thrifted piece. So please just stay tuned. So guys, I painted this today as I still had some time. I only painted the bust area of the actual horse. I just used regular acrylic paint that dries matte and it wasn't going to be like a full coverage paint. So it was um, one coating of this acrylic paint. I'm going to go back into these non-covered parts, but like the non-covered spots actually make it look aged and it had this golden bronzy look underneath of the actual candle so it actually looks like a statue of some sort it actually looks like an antiqued statue but this is actually a candle guys the wick was right here i cut it off i'm gonna insert like a little clip of me actually painting this as well so you guys can see what it started from to where it is i'm actually putting and i'm decorating with this now on top of the copy books that I purchased from a friend. I'm gonna leave her details below on my description box as well as she actually sells a lot of the items that she thrifts. She like super hunts these down and has such great taste guys. Like I'm always shocked and amazed at what she can find and the time and dedication that goes into thrifting and looking for special like special buys is is incredible and I can only be in awe of what she does so yeah I gave my hand at it uh, and I found a few pieces that I really do love I'm planning on flipping these a lot of them won't be major flips initially I was very scared of what this would turn out as but as you can see it looks amazing 
I'm also going to leave the two charity shops that I did visit on this round in the description box below and their addresses as well. So you guys can go give them a visit when you have the chance. If you are in Joburg, in the Joburg area, in the north of Joburg to be specific. So if you're around there then and you feel like thrifting, I do suggest these two charity shops uh, slash thrift shops as they are super awesome and prop properly like well stocked all the time i go there you'll never be short of something new there's always something there so it's, yeah it's always great so yeah please do uh stay watching guys i really enjoyed making this uh thrift haul i do hope to make more and do stay watching for the next video that's going to be coming up on my channel and on my instagram please do stay tuned on there as well as i'll be showing these after i flip them sooner on my instagram page which i'll also leave in the description box um i'm so excited for my upcoming projects i'm so excited for you guys to see what they all look like in the end yeah so for all of those who have stayed this far and are not subscribed yet please do consider subscribing i do try and make these as fun as and entertaining as possible and I do also need your guys' engagement. So please drop a comment. Please suggest whatever it is that you want to see. If I can do it, then I will. If at all, I need to save up for it. Because, yeah, it does cost quite a lot of money to redecorate and decorate and style things. So I will be then pushing it for later projects. So thank you so, so much again for watching, guys. I hope you stay tuned for following videos. And click next for my next video and see a couple of videos that I've done before. Thanks so much again. Bye.